Ravi Madhu's cooking is all about inspiring everyone to cook delicious cuisines at home. Before proceeding further to watch this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to touch the bell button besides it so as to enable automatic notification of every new cooking video. Also like the video after watching it if you really like it. Click on description button below or if you are watching it on laptop, touch the show more button at bottom of description column to find the list of ingredients and detailed recipe text. Today we are making Shawal or Wadi Ki Sabza that is rice and spicy lentils dumpling curry. Urad Dal Ki Wadi or skinless split black lentils dumpling is a traditional food item of Punjab which was traditionally prepared in almost every household of Punjab India, but nowadays it is generally produced at large in home industry. Urad lentils are ground coarsely and seasoned with various spices then dropped over plastic sheet under sun and dried up completely. We are making this curry with half cup of basmati rice. But you may use any variety of rice. Wash thoroughly and soak rice in water for half an hour. You may use rice unsoaked also. Just wash them and use them. But soaking enhances the texture of finished curry. Add 2 tablespoon cooking oil or ghee in your pressure cooker at medium heat. Add one and a half wadi or more or less according to your liking into hot oil and fry while breaking it coarsely for a minute or just until reddish. Be careful as it gets fried very quickly. Drain fried wadi into a bowl and keep aside for a while. Reduce heat to low and add 3 fourths teaspoon of jeera that is cumin seeds into remaining oil in cooker, along with 1 half teaspoon haldi powder that is ground turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon, or to taste red chili powder. Keep in mind that wadi also contains red chilies in it. Also add 3 fourths teaspoon or to taste salt and 1 and a half teaspoon tania powder that is ground coriander seeds. Stir and saute for half a minute on low heat, drain soaked rice, and add into pressure cooker. It Increase heat to medium and saute for a couple of minutes. Now return fried and coarsely broken wadian into cooker, pour 5 or 6 cups of water into cooker, amount of water should be 6 to 8 times of rice volume, if you want thick consistency then add 6 times and if like a bit thinner one then add 7 or 8 times water, close cooker with its lid and increase heat to medium high, cook at medium high until cooker whistles, reduce heat to low and cook at low heat for 5 minutes then turn off the heat, if you are using unsoaked rice then cook for 10 minutes. Allow cooker to release its steam pressure on its own, it might take 10 to 15 minutes, on the heat again to medium low and stir to mix, if you find consistency thicker than required, add some boiling water into rice and stir to mix, taste and adjust the seasonings, add whatever is required plus 1 half teaspoon or to taste of garam masala, stir to mix then add half cup or 3 to 4 heaping tablespoon of dehi that is plain curd or yogurt into rice, stir to mix and reduce heat to low. Finally stir in 1 teaspoon. Crumbled kasari methi that is dried fenugreek leaves and turn off the heat, transfer into serving bowl, serve delicious shawal and wadi ki sabzi on its own as flavorful spicy kichadi or Indian style risotto, or serve it accompanied with naan roti or parantha, enjoy. We hope you liked the recipe, please write your views in comments column below for sure. Your feedback is really very important for us. Thanks.